Before we get into how LeBron is gonna own a team, I wanna acknowledge a lot of you hate this man. I know that. Even when people compliment LeBron, they tear him down. Actually a very nice guy. Okay. You know, I wish he had a little more basketball killer in him. I don't think he has enough. This guy. But people get so wrapped up in comparing him to Michael Jordan, they forget where LeBron came from. Dude could own an NBA franchise and he started homeless. His mom, Gloria, had him at 16 years old. They bounced around friends' couches and lived in her car. In fourth grade, his mom was arrested for trespassing and disorderly conduct, so LeBron refused to go to school, missing 88 days. But sports saved LeBron's life and not basketball. One day, a man named Bruce Kelker was scouting local parks for his under 10 football team, he told all the kids to race and the winner could be his running back. LeBron scored an 80-yard touchdown the first time he ever touched a ball, but Kelker saw how chaotic his life was, so he invited the Jameses to live with him and his girlfriend. That didn't last long, but a different football coach stepped up. That is where LeBron learned how to be responsible, how to go to school, and how to play basketball. Now, you know the rest of the story, of course, high school star, number one pick, but people act like LeBron had an easy life. He's the only top 10 player to come from a single parent household. So from homeless to a billionaire. But that's not enough to be an NBA owner. So how does he get there? Well, I want to shout out Joe Pompliano for explaining this on Twitter. But NBA teams are expensive. The least expensive is the Pelicans at one and a half billion. But an expansion team should cost around three billion. Now we know LeBron just became a billionaire, but just how much money does he have? He made 617 million on the court, but he's also the NBA's smartest investor. And I know that's a big statement. For example, but first, today's video sponsor is NordVPN, my favorite VPN. I have been using them for years, especially during the NBA season. It is perfect for NBA fans because of the location. So much to choose from. They have over 5,500 servers in 59 countries. You can find a server with better speed or in a faraway country for better content. And speaking of speed, Nord is officially the fastest VPN out there according to tests. You can connect six devices on any of the major platforms. I have an Apple, maybe you use Windows or Linux, whatever. Let me show you how it works for the NBA. So let's say I cannot watch a game for whatever reason. I open up Nord, look at that beautiful map. Let's pick Canada. Connect, and just to show you that it's working, let's go to NBA.com, it thinks I'm in Canada. My favorite team is the Raptors. And we all know that's not true. This also works for games that are not available in your country if you're a gamer. Nord also has threat protection. It's a major upgrade for Nord. It blocks intrusive ads and web trackers. So like when you download any file, threat protection inspects it for malware because that's how they get in. Automatically scans URLs too and blocks the bad ones like Giannis. And you can get an exclusive deal to try Nord. Just use my link, nordvpn.com slash am hoops it is in the description it is risk-free with nord's 30-day money-back guarantee click the link and thanks so much to nord he put a million dollars into blaze pizza that investment is now worth 70 million dollars so that's 500 million in cash and investments because he spent some of it. But his next biggest earner is Spring Hill Media Company at 300 million. They produce like Space Jam and The Shop. He also has 80 million in real estate in LA, Miami, and Cleveland. But that 90 million in Fenway Sports Group is his ticket to own a franchise. In 2011, FSG already owned the Red Sox and Liverpool, but they wanted to get into sports marketing. So they pitched LeBron on getting him sponsorships, but instead of taking like commission or cash, LeBron had a big idea. FSG could manage his brand, but LeBron would get 2% of Liverpool. And we all remember this news when it broke. LeBron is part owner of Liverpool. But right after that, their value shut up. Anyone who watches soccer knows Liverpool has gone from pretty good to one of the best. His 2% stake worth about six and a half million is now worth 90 million. Liverpool wanted to capitalize on that appreciation. So they sold 10% of the team for 650 million. But instead of cashing out, LeBron had that 2% stake in Liverpool converted to 1% of the entire Fenway Sports Group. So LeBron was now a part owner of Liverpool, the Boston Red Sox, both of their stadiums, and a NASCAR team. 
And let's not skip over the Red Sox. That team has had the most racist history in baseball. They were the last franchise to integrate after Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier. And I'm not saying anything about the team now or their fans, but to have LeBron as the first black part owner is pretty cool. Soon after that, they bought the Pittsburgh Penguins of the NHL, but LeBron has already told us his master plan. My goal is to, to own a team, um, own an NBA team. I got so much to give to the game. Um, I know what it takes uh, to win at this level. Um, I know talent. Um, I also know how to run a business um, as well. And, uh, you know, so that is my goal. My goal is to own an NBA franchise and, um, you know, It'll be sooner than later. Okay, so clearly FSG will buy an NBA team and LeBron will run it, but it's not that easy. About half the league has been sold since 2010, but LeBron can't run a team while he's playing. I guess unless it's the Lakers, that's not gonna happen. So the Timberwolves recently sold to someone else and LeBron made it known what city he has his eye on. I want to own a team. Buy a team? Yeah, I want to buy a team, that's it, there for sure. I want, yeah, I want a team in Vegas. Good for you. Oh, good for you. If that happens, then LeBron would be set up to run that team. Pretty reminiscent of Michael Jordan, right? I mean, LeBron idolized MJ as a kid, chose to wear number 23, made Space Jam 2, and now he's gonna be an NBA owner. Actually, I don't blame people for comparing him to MJ. But there is a huge flaw in LeBron's plan. First, Adam Silver said, well, yeah, the league's gonna expand, but we're not discussing it. Now that's not a huge deal because he can't actually say anything until it's official. The problem is a lot of other people also want to be in Vegas. In fact, a group of businessmen announced they're building a $3 billion basketball arena with a hotel and a casino in Vegas. That group is led by Tim Laiwiki, who already did this for Seattle. He promised an NHL expansion team, and once they built the stadium, a team followed. The most important thing to pro franchises in a city is the stadium. If a different group is gonna build them a stadium, they're gonna get the team. Every time a team threatens to leave a city, once the city builds them a new arena, they end up staying like the Sacramento Kings. So if this Vegas stadium plan actually goes through, it is a huge advantage for someone other than the Fenway Sports Group to own in Vegas. So that leaves just two other options for LeBron to get his wish. He can either run the other expansion team because there would be two and that would probably be in Seattle or FSG could buy an existing franchise. The teams I think that are most likely to get sold are the Pelicans and the Portland Trailblazers. Both teams got transferred recently to the owner's wife after he died. And while Jody Allen has said that she's not selling, the fact that she even has to say that is a bad sign. LeBron still has a long way to go if he really wants to be the next Michael Jordan, but he has gone from a homeless kid with his mom in jail to an NBA legend. He sold his brand for ownership of a soccer team, flipped that for a smaller stake in Fenway Sports Group, and if they keep acquiring teams, LeBron could be part owner and head of an NBA franchise. People can hate on him all they want, but you have to respect his journey and he's not even done yet. Like this next year, I think the Lakers could be a real contender if they get Kyrie Irving. And a report just came out that the Lakers aren't actually being aggressive trying to get Kyrie. So it is all up to LeBron James. And if that sounds crazy, check out this video.